a short video to illustrate how you use the partnership bidding area on BBO. This is a good place for a partnership to practice their bidding uh, without any pressure of the opponents. And it's also a good way to actually get to use BBO on your own without anybody watching. So we're going to go to the practice area and we're going to click on start a bidding table. Now I'm going to use my normal thing of just permission required to play. I don't mind if people kibitz, but because I don't want people chatting to me during this video, I'm going to make it invisible. Uh, if you have a third party who is working for with a pair, then you would say opponents bidding controlled by host, but otherwise leave that as passed throughout. I'm going to reserve my seat with Paul G. And if you have a partner, you might want to reserve their seat for them by clicking on the South button. And then we'll start the table. I'm going to toggle the messages tab so I get a full screen and there's my table. There are a number of options in the menu. Uh, redeal to get the next hand, table options, which changes the options when you created the table and deal source which i'll cover in a minute and pictures of cards if you prefer that format uh, i don't so i'll put it back to hand diagrams as i don't have a partner online at the moment i'm going to put a robot in as south uh, the robot plays its own system which is two over one and then we bid away as you would normally so i'm going to open a week two diamonds Whenever you hover over a bid, it will tell you what the robot expects you to have. Uh, it's just a facet of using the robot. And there we have, it gets passed out and I get to play in two diamonds. Interest, but of course, this wouldn't happen in real life because West would balance there with his 19 count. So what you can do, whether you're playing with a robot or with a partner, is you can put robots into the east-west seats so you now have some competitive bidding so we'll go to redeal and get the next hand and already we see some competitive bidding east has opened a diamond my partner's bid four spades i've got a nice hand but no control in diamonds and i'm going to pass that'll probably get passed out and luckily i've done the right thing because we had two diamond losers and partner will need to decide which finesse to take to make 11 tricks. Uh, luckily, it doesn't matter because we see West has both. So that's the basic thing, but it could get boring. These are random hands being dealt, and we might get a hand that has no points at all. So in Deal Source, we have the ability to set some of the hands. So there is save deals so if you've uploaded some hands you can do that use them for bidding and i notice in my list of hand folders i've got one called alan brian bidding this is a set i made for one of scotland's top pairs for them to practice a certain facet of their bidding and had the robots bidding against them the advanced tab is very difficult to use and you need an expert to help you i have dozens of scripts uh, to control what happens, what ha which hands are dealt. Uh, so if you want something simple, like the dealer, be it north or south, gets dealt a weak no trump or a strong no trump, you can do that. You can do things like your delta weak two opener and the, o and the opponents will overcall. Um, it's very, very powerful, but difficult to use. So consult an expert if you need some help. Random deals is what you normally use, but you can put constraint sets on. These two are not that easy to do, but the basic functions are. So I'm going to click on the plus, plus button and get a constraint set. And you see the first constraint set is whoever deals north-south. What you'll often do is put a north-south have a minimum of 23 points so that between you and your partner or you and the robot, you will have the majority of the points and therefore likely to have something to do. You can click on the constraints button and you can say points for 
So maybe we want South to hold a strong no Trump, for, a weak no Trump for British viewers. So we'll say South must hold between 12 and 14 and has at least two spades, at least two diamonds, at least two hearts and at least two clubs. Uh, that might still give us a 5-4-2-2 two hand we don't want or a 6-3-2-2. Uh, so maybe we want to limit, maybe we don't open one no trump with a five card major, even though even Andrew Robson on his video yesterday said you should. Uh, so we can make it a very balanced hand with no five card suits by setting these constraints. So having set those constraints, we can close, we can now redeal the next hand, and we know that South's got a weak no trump. Uh, we also know that the robot doesn't play a weak no trump. Uh, so he opens a club, and in this case, rebids two clubs. That's quite interesting. Um, uh, I'm sure I'd probably just bid three no trumps here. That's interesting. Ah, oh, maybe our constraints. Let's look at our constraints. The points between us, direction south. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure why that didn't work, but it's interesting nonetheless. But that's basically how it works.